phase adjusted maglev system. Oh. What? Let's take a look now at the Tornado V4 video. No, I tell you what, let's go. Breaking news, everyone. Breaking news. Let's go to Speed Cube Review, whose video I do not have permission to watch, so I'm not going to watch it. But I am just going to check something. Hey Sean, hey, Sean here from Speed Cube Review. Love to hear it. Let's see him. Is he going to yank it apart? But Oh, he's got, th has he got three versions? No, he's got two versions. Sean, I don't want to, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to get in trouble. And if anyone knows Sean personally, here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to watch a tiny bit. We do have corner magnets and a core. No, no, there are no, there are no predator magnets on the version that he's got either. Okay. Interesting. Nobody has been sent predator magnets. And I can't even get first comment either. I can't believe none of you have been in there getting first. Cool. Oh no, Noah Cubes has said, oh cool, I'm first. I'm going to say, proud of you on someone else's video. Lol. Uh, okay, that was Speed. So Speed Cube Review has, re has released a video about it. Obviously go and check that out. Also, we are going to look at the video from Chi Toys, which is this one here. Okay, Woo. let's go. Is that volume too loud? Whoa, 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 whoa. This video goes fast, okay? So chill. Tornado V4. A corner piece magnetic adjustment system, okay? The magnetic adjustment system of Tornado V4 has undergone significant changes. Chill has undergone significant upgrades. Incorporating the adjustment mechanism into the corner pieces. We know this though, don't we? Uh, moreover, a highly intricate and precise gear transmission system has been designed within these corner pieces. Okay. Enabling simultaneous adjustment. I think we know this stuff. With just one adjustment, the magnetic strength of all three faces of the corner can be altered simultaneously. You know what? I'm going to give a little shout out to Chi here. This, These sentences actually make sense. I think they have got the memo from one guy in the West yelling into the void. And I think they have they have invested in um, potentially someone who is first language English helping with their translation. What are we learning? Previously adjusted Adjusting the magnetic strength of a cube required 24 separate adjustments to complete. Yep, 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 we know that. So now it's just eight instead of 24. Now it only takes eight adjustments. My brain's huge, significantly enhancing the convenience of adjusting the pieces. So we know that. We Okay, big, big, big deal. We know that. You now adjust the magnets in the corners, not in the edges, all right? Great. Love that. What else, Chi? Oh, chill. What else, Chi? Uh, assisted magnetic positioning. I think assisted magnetic positioning. This much must be the, ter the predator magnets. Building upon the traditional magnetic position of edges and corners. Building upon the... Yeah, okay, cool. Mm. Tornado V4 incorporates an additional small magnet on each side of the original magnets in the edge pieces. Yeah, we've seen this. We've seen this. How do I want to demonstrate this? Maybe I'll just jump into Canva. This is looking at the side of, uh, like the internal edge of, uh, what am I trying to say? Corner. Okay. No, wait, it's my edge. So that's cool. I'm going to just make a little torpedo. Torpedo, that's what we're doing. Uh, something like that. There we go. That's my edge piece, all right? It looks like a corner, but it's not, okay? It's an edge piece. Chill. Here's where we'd normally imagine seeing a magnet on a on an edge piece, okay? With me so far? Here's a little... Here's a little magnet on our edge piece. Wonderful. So this is the outside of the of the edge piece. This is where it plugs into your cube here. This is an exceptional diagram and I will not take uh, any notes that aren't amazing. So in the Tornado V4, we also, we also have uh, two other little magnets, one Mia and one over here, okay? So that's kind of what the, the edge looks like in profile in my, in, and this is some of my finest work uh, to demonstrate what that sort of looks like. So here's where we'd expect the magnet to be, like a magnet capsule, your old adjustable one in the Tornado V3 used to be here. It's still there, but it's not adjustable. And there are these little fellows, these little noodles sitting right beside it there as well, okay? So that's what we're talking about now. An additional small magnet on each side of the original magnets in the edge pieces. Oops. Wrong page. Within a small angular range, yeah, sure, in that like kind of circle. These extra magnets repel the positioning magnets in the corner. Ooh, they repel the magnets in the corner pieces. Actively expanding the positioning range of the cube and increasing the angle of automatic alignment. So this is their 
automatic alignment tech. Uh, is that satisfactory? I think it is. As an explanation, I think it is. That's what these magnets are for. Okay. They're going to repel the corner to edge magnet. Yes. So it's going to feel snappy. That's going to snap that in. And it's also going to push it away when it comes out. Interesting. Mango, that's what I saw in Max's cube. Okay, so Max has one. Max is the only person that I know of who's got the, what do they call them? The assisted magnetic positioning extra predator magnets. Phase adjusted maglev. I hope you brought your brains everyone because this is a lot, okay? This is a lot. Uh, the repulsion force between two magnetic rings is altered by changing the distance between them. Sure, that's maglev. However, the relationship between the repulsion force and the distance is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Ah, uh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble here, everyone, okay? I am in trouble, okay. Uh, the relationship between the repulsion force and the distance is inversely proportional to the square of the distance, indicating a, 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 a what? Non-linear? A non-linear change. Wait, now, was that the issue that magnets were non-linear or linear, or springs were non-linear or linear? I don't know. As a, as a result, it becomes challenging to precisely control the magnetic force when adjusting the distance, thereby complicating the setup process. Okay, here's the problem. Tornado V4 adopts a phase-adjusted maglev system. Oh. What? Instead of varying the distance between the magnetic rings, instead of, it alters the repulsion force by changing the direct facing area What's happening? This method allows for theoretical calculations as the repulsion force between the rings is a linear function of their direct facing area. I don't know what I'm talking about. Therefore, the change in magnetic force is linear for each adjustment step. The change in magnetic force remain, remains constant. Oh my days, you know what this sounds like? You know what this sounds like to me? Yeah, James, they're translating physics correctly. They're translating physics correctly but they can't pronounce their own products names correctly or or I should say chi are translating physics correctly but they but but gan cannot translate their their product names correctly again gan i am hi how are you i am available for some uh, translation consultancy work if that's a thing you're interested in uh, i charge a lot all right lots of money oh here we go mango is offering to jump on stream to try and explain it yeah let's do it i've got everything set up why not let's do it physics correspondent jaden <laughs> is ready to go jaden what the hell did we just watch um from my understanding, and physics was not my best subject, I'll make that very Same. clear, but um, from what my understanding is, is that typical like maglev, uh, essentially you have two magnets and they get closer and closer together. Sure. And the the effect is like exponential. So if you were to look on a graph um, and you would see like how the strength is affected, it would be more like a curve. Yeah, non-linear. So, yeah, we saw him talking about that. Yeah. Right. And so where what she is doing is essentially the magnets are like offset pretty much. Okay. And they stay at one distance from my understanding and that they just get closer and closer like over each other, which makes it more linear. Okay. And the idea there is to make it more like a spring. Essentially, I believe so. Cool. It, it makes it so the effect is not as like insanely affected. So like, whereas setting one and setting eight would have a very big difference in, in feel, uh, setting one eight is going to feel not as extreme it should make it a little bit easier to adjust your cube uh because stuff that's what she's science. doing <laughs> If I don't know exactly why they're doing it. I think having it be more exponential gives you more range, uh, unless they determined that having a bigger range like that is just not useful, which maybe for some people it really isn't. Maybe. Um, I know for me, I don't set my maglev all the way to setting eight on, on my tornadoes. So my tornadoes, they're set at like five or six. So yeah. It, it seems like an awful lot of work to replicate uh, something that already exists, which is a spring, potentially. Pretty much. Yeah. I think it just makes it, like, it acts similar to a spring, but, like, it's smoother. Okay. Less wear and tear, I guess. Less, you less know? friction. It does make it a little bit faster, so... Yeah. James is here now in the, in the comments, in the chat, saying it means the difference between one and two will be the same as between seven and eight. Yes, that's a good way of explaining it. That's a it. very yeah. good way of explaining it. Yeah. Very nice, James. Like that. I, I struggle with this. Isn't a spring... A spring's not exactly linear, though. 
Is it? Is it the same tangent? I have no idea. Like a compressed... I didn't do springs in my physics class, so... I don't know, hey. Right, James, whereas normally you probably couldn't have the steps be a meaningful distance at one end of the range without making the difference too large on the other end. Okay, I think I think I see what you mean. I still don't understand why or how... I don't know. What was I trying... I, I've forgotten what I was trying to say there. I'm... It just... It's an awful lot, isn't it? I, I think I'm spring biased, though. I'm spring-pilled, you know? So I struggle yeah. to think why they've done put so much effort into... Unless I'm just... Because I'm so spring-pilled, I just haven't done enough experience with maglev. I like the feel of cubes with a spring, but I perform better with ones with maglev. It, it kind of sucks because it's like using a cube that I don't totally 100% like. But I mean, obviously, at least for me, maglev is offering, you know, better performance in some way. So James coming in again with some big physics brain. Springs are linear. Hook's law, he's saying in the in the chat there as well. Hook's law. Okay, sure. Hook's law. I'm going to take your word on that, James, because I've Googled so much today and been on so many tangents that I'm worried that this stream, there's a good chance it might never end. Are you looking for Hook's law? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's directly talking about springs and how like forces proportional to the extension of the spring, which I guess could also apply to the compression of a spring as well. Greg in the chat is also Googling yeah. hard. Springs are linear in the shape that we use them. If we used cone shaped springs, they would be non linear and i think in if, if you think of a car spring they've got like quite tight coils at the top then loose coils then tight coils again so right. there there maybe that's when you get a non-linear thing okay interesting gosh we've learned a lot about springs and physics today everyone hey Jaden, thank you so much <laughs> this is kind of creepy now because i i i i uh, i looked at this video this morning and then i looked in the comments okay um and i saw something that made me laugh <laughs> First of all, here, uh, let's see if I can zoom in. Uh, this is, this is, I guess, how you get a shout out. Um, this guy, <laughs> three days ago, I see you, speak UNZ, <laughs> with five likes. How many of these did I see? There were so many. Biff Horrific, here before speak UNZ. <laughs> High speed QNZ. These are all from days ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that it made me laugh so much this morning uh, when I saw it. So, um, yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> that is how to get my attention and how to get a free shout out. Ben, I love the Mango Cuber guest star segments. You should make them a regular part of the show. Physics correspondent Jaden joining us live from Nevada. Swagrid going to start commenting here before speak you, Ben Zed, under my own videos. I'm going to start commenting them under any video that I don't see it on. Here before speak you, Ben Zed. That's the new meta. First is done. Being proud of you for being first. It's about being there before speak you, Ben Zed. That's the new meta, everyone.